As we've lamented here time and time again, really smart people suggest that we actually know less about what lurks in our oceans than what's happening out there in space. And that is saying something. With the countless miles of unexplored depths of our largest seas, today we'll take a look at the 10 biggest ocean monsters you will ever see. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Megalodon. Bring up any list talking about supersized sea monsters from anywhere, and you won't have to wait long before they bring up the infamous and now supposedly extinct Megalodon. This was the largest shark to ever live, and according to records, disappeared from our waters more than 2 million years ago. This thing was massive. For comparison's sake, the great white shark is the largest shark swimming around today. So of course, we'll have more on them later, but the megalodon was three times the size of that. Experts say that the animal topped out at 60 feet in length and would have likely weighed up to 100 tons. The incredibly massive animals also had teeth the size of grown man's palms, sometimes exceeding 7 inches across. And when you think about the fact that there were 276 teeth in the mouth of the megalodon, let's just say if this animal was about to get a bite out of you, well, that's just game over. However, about this image, clearly this can't be real. Or can it? If it was, and there truly was a huge shark chasing down another shark that ended up on top of this boat, then the big shark in the back must be a megalodon, right? Nothing else would be this insanely large. Blue Whale We'll move from the largest ocean monster in the history of Earth to the largest monster in the ocean right now, the Blue Whale. And I guess monster is a bit of an overstatement considering these animals docile nature. But blue whales aren't just the largest creatures in the water, but they're the biggest animals on Earth, ever. The blue whale, which occupy most of the world's major oceans, likely have between 10 and 25,000 individuals left out there, and can be spotted by whale watchers of Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, Greenland, and Iceland. And trust me, when we say that this thing is huge, just imagine an animal that has a tongue that weighs 4 million pounds. 4 million! Killer Whales Apex predators are animals who have no natural predators. They're at the top of their food chain. A great example of that on land is the wolf. They hunt in packs and can take down animals much larger in size. In the waters, though, the true apex isn't a shark like many of us might suspect. It's the orca, or what's better known as the killer whale. Like wolves, they also hunt in packs. There are two different types of orcas, resident orcas and transient orcas. Resident orcas tend to live in central areas and highly socialize within their family pod and typically feast on salmon. The transient orcas, however, tend to roam over larger areas of coastal waters and typically dine on larger animals, like sea lions and seals. There are even reports of orcas eating sharks. The Great White Shark So, we opened up talking about the huge ancient megalodon, and up next we've got its greatest descendant, the Great White Shark. The only thing that a great white fears in the open water is a pod of killer whales. Everything else for this massive beast and the largest shark in the sea is just a snack. This animal is typically three times the size of an average human male. They can be around 20 feet long and weigh as much as 5,000 pounds. The animal is the inspiration for the legendary Jaws movies. They're easily identifiable, if not simply by their size, if for their gray skin and white underbelly. Their bodies are famously shaped like a bullet, and their teeth are incredibly sharp. Speaking of their teeth, there could be as many as 300 of those teeth in their big old mouths. According to statistics, great white sharks are responsible for about 5 to 10 human deaths per year. 
Japanese spider crab. Enough with the animals that have fins and teeth and can swim and all that. For just a second at least, up next we've got the Japanese spider crab. If you hate spiders, then you may want to brace yourself for a minute because this thing looks like a humongous underwater arachnid. This crab can weigh up to almost 50 pounds and their incredibly long legs can reach an insane length of about 13 feet. 13 feet legs! Multiple of them. That's just crazy. Furthermore, these animals will eat just about anything, from mollusks to invertebrates that move slow enough for them to catch, to algae and even dead sea creatures that just happen to be floating around. So, uh, yeah, think about that next time you head on down to that all-you-can-eat crab leg dinner. <laughs> Striped Tiger Shark with the great white shark being responsible for the most human deaths of any shark in the ocean, coming in at a close second for that frightening title is the tiger shark. Now, of course, being attacked by a shark is something that is highly unlikely, something like one out of a 3.7 million chance. But according to the stats released by the Florida Museum of Natural History, the tiger shark is one of the most aggressive animals in the sea. The 15-foot predator can weigh up to 1,300 pounds, making it the fourth largest shark in the ocean. And they're known as essentially swimming garbage disposals. They eat everything from paint cans, license plates, leather jackets, and sometimes even people. The reason that they will attack and try to eat any and everything is because of the way that their teeth are shaped. They're notched and serrated. So once they grab onto something, they don't let it go. Ocean Sunfish So we've dealt with a lot of the big and bad animals out there in the open sea. But now let's talk about, well, I don't know quite how to say this nicely, but uh, well, it may be the ugliest fish out there, the ocean sunfish. Now, despite this husky fella not being very photogenic, the ocean sunfish has a very peculiar nickname, the swimming head. And that's because they look like, well, they look like a swimming head. The animal also goes by the name Mola Mola, and these things are weird. For starters, it's the heaviest bony fish in the world. They can grow to be as long as 14 feet. A female ocean sunfish was caught in 1996, and it weighed an incredible 5,000 pounds. For comparison's sake, that's like a fully grown white rhino swimming around in open water. Giant Pacific Octopus Another unusual animal to look at, even if it wasn't extremely large, is the giant Pacific octopus. With their tentacles, these animals can stretch out to over 32 feet across and weigh over half a ton. These octopuses? No, that can't be right. These octopi? Oh, now they're telling me that either way is acceptable. But they grow larger and live longer than any other octopus in the world. These stealth hunters typically dine on crabs, mussels, and clams. They're also the largest ocean animals known to use camouflage to both hide from predators, but also to stealthily get in position in order to capture their next meal. These animals are introverts, usually choosing to stay in their underwater dens. But of course, they'll come out whenever they feel like they can grab an easy snack. Quick fun fact, these animals when kept in captivity, are amazing escape artists. They've been known to remove the lid off their aquarium, suction their way across a floor to another tank, remove that lid, and then eat whatever's inside. Now that's crazy. <laughs> Giant Sea Star Up next, we've got perhaps the most peculiar looking monster in the sea, the Giant Sea Star. Now, I'll be the first to admit, I'm not sure that these heavenly looking animals really give off monster vibes, but there's no doubting that they're pretty dang big. The giant sea star, scientifically known as the Pisaster gigantis, can be seen on the western coast of North America. The animal typically dines on mollusks and can grow as long as two feet across. But did you know that not all starfish, like the giant sea star, have just five arms? Some have as many as 40. Whale shark. 
While most people believe that the great white shark is the largest shark in open water, that title is actually reserved for the whale shark. Now, wait a minute. A whale? Shark? What is it? A whale or a shark? Well, this is a super slow moving, filter feeding, carpet shark. They consume their meals by basically opening their gaping mouths and just allowing the plankton, krill, or fish eggs to filter right down into their big old belly. Well, hey, thanks so much for hanging out with the Supreme. Which of these gigantic monstrosities was your favorite? And even more importantly, did you learn anything today? If you did, then drop us a comment and let us know what it was. You've been watching The Supreme. We'll see you next time.